Hello guys and welcome back to tutorials and uh, here right now we're gonna talk about the user input as a string okay and uh, so before we do that I'm gonna show you one thing that um, I didn't show you before so this is kind of, kind of a new thing and um, what I'm pointing out right here we have a debug mode um, that's when we run the program and then if you go to build right here and the debug in here we can look at the start debugging and there start without debugging and this is what we've been using up to this point control F5 and if you press F5 it's gonna start in debugging mode they're a little bit different and I'll show you a simple example of the difference um, the regular F5 is actually the start um, the start right here start button and so instead of pressing control F5 we're gonna just press the start and we'll see what happens I mean there's nothing in the program so um, since there is nothing the window comes up and it goes back down so it only lasts for like a half a second or so in this mode if we do control F5 like we did before uh, the window is gonna pause and it says press any key to continue so this is one of the differences in what happens here um, a lot of programmers and um, when you debugging your program and you're building it you want to run in this mode and I'll show you later the differences why um, that's when you are gonna like troubleshoot your program and see if there's any errors and you want to pause at certain point you do want to run it in a debug mode and so to do that um, if we would run it before um, in previous like from previous examples the window would come up and disappear to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna write console dot um, read line and what it does is basically it's waiting um, to read an input from the user okay and this is why uh, we doing in this tutorial because this is what we're actually doing we're reading the user input and then so in this mode right now if you press to start um, it would actually pause that window and right now we're on this line uh, waiting for the user input and if we press if you type anything or press anything hit enter basically it disappears because after this we're not doing anything with their input okay so this is a simple um, way to explain the debug mode versus not okay uh, so um, this tutorial is about taking the user input so instead of just waiting and um, taking the input and not doing anything with it we need to before we do this um, we need to create a variable and so you guys know every time when we read a user input from uh, the console it reads as a string okay so we can directly store anything we um, want from the user anything they enter into the string so let's create a string and we're gonna name it X um, and then what can happen what we can do is we can simply right here say x equals like that okay and so what's gonna happen is that now that when we read this line we're gonna store in our variable x which is string okay um, and if we run this um, we can actually right now press start but it's still gonna be very similar I'll show you what that means we're still gonna see the window here but as soon as we type something in and hit enter it's gonna disappear again so in order for us to actually see that what's gonna happen is that from now and on we are always gonna have um, um, read line um, code right here and that's in the end so we can pause and see what's going on so the window doesn't dis just disappear okay so we're gonna have this in all of our codes in most of them I don't know all but in most of our codes we're gonna see this in here in the end so I'm always gonna just leave hanging in there so now uh, since we stored it in there we actually want to see if it actually does work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna print out back to the window and uh, let's see we're gonna say console that right line and we're gonna write our x in there okay and then we're gonna see um, if it works okay and actually before we do that we're gonna um, see um, um, well let's just see that 
and we're gonna press start and let's see so it's waiting for us and we're gonna say uh, let's say I enter my name Jim which I'm not but I'm just gonna enter the and it displays Jim again and uh, see and it's still waiting here right now and it's on this line right now waiting basically um, for us to enter anything and then once we press it it's gonna disappear come back here okay so uh, let's see uh, usually what I do is um, you can just like display like that people don't know what they you know input you know what like, we're supposed to put that in there so usually what I do uh, is um, uh, I wanna write something down um, we're gonna write line and we're gonna say um, please enter your name okay and then they're gonna enter your name and we're gonna say here now that we know how to format output we're gonna say your name is and we're gonna put those curly brackets in here and we're gonna put zero and then we're gonna come here put comma and then X and so we should ask the user first they're gonna enter the name we're gonna read that line store into our string X and then we're gonna display back their name okay and that's it let's see if it works we're gonna start and let's see what happens okay what did I do wrong something's wrong here actually I don't think I did anything wrong um, I just ran the program and it crashed on me so I had to restart the Visual Studio sorry about that and um, I didn't see any errors uh, it just crashed on me so and if we press start we're gonna see please enter your name and so we are right there now it's waiting for us so it's reading the line right now and so I'm gonna enter Jim and then um, I'm hit enter and now we are on this line it's uh, putting out your name is Jim and then we are right here waiting for the line basically to read to close our program okay this is the reason why I do it because if you don't pause it in the end you kind of don't see just prints out and then just disappears so this read line right here is just kind of the pause in the end so you can kind of take a look what you know like if this is the way that you want your program to look like and then so in most of the time a lot of uh, uh, programmers will um, actually have that in their program just kind of in the end running like that all the time and then so this is going to be changing and this line is going to be always staying here okay so this is how to read as a string and um, in the next tutorial we're going to talk about how to read those as a number okay and uh, see you next tutorial